All right, Bob Chick, we're still here in Chicago. We've got the Chicago Pro Show. And who do I bump into? Uh, my old friend, Linda Murray, eight-time Miss Olympian. By old friend, I mean, like, we've known each other a long time. That's right. Yeah, you know better. Yeah, long time. We've known. Each, we've definitely known each other a long time. Yes, we yes. do. Well, Linda, welcome to Chicago. Uh, always great to have you back, uh, along with your counterpart, Kim Chavesky, also in the house here. So we've got a whole bunch of Olympia victories going on. Yes, it was great to see Kim. I haven't seen Kim in a long time. So... You know, we have a great relationship. Kim kicked my butt on stage, <laughs> and then I went back and hired Chad to help me to kick some butt a little bit longer. But yeah, you guys uh, talk about the old days when you get together. Uh, any bodybuilding war stories or? Yes, we do, and, and you know that's the beauty of it. Um, a lot of memories of us uh, competing. And first, it wasn't like we were like the best of friends, but we've never been. We're just competitors. But I think that's great because now we're. We're great friends. I'm going to do some stuff for her on October 4th, so I'm looking forward to oh, that. Very good. Yeah. Well, it's always good to have some champs in the house. So yeah. bring me up to speed, Linda. What do you got going these days? Uh, obviously, you're busy. you got shows that you're promoting. You're yeah. obviously always in and around the bodybuilding world. So uh, bring all the fans up to date. What goes on yeah. in the life of Linda Murray? Well, actually, I'm in my 10th year of the Linda Murray Bodybuilding Figure and Bikini Championships in Portsmouth, Virginia. So I'm really excited about that, 10 years. And promoting is really some tough work. I have my uh, boot camp at LA Air Force Base, Operation Boot Camp. That's doing well. And I plan on opening up Powerhouse FX with William Dabish and the Powerhouse International. So we've already found the location on Pacific Coast Highway, and I'm really looking forward to that. Well, the great one and only Will Dabish. I've actually known Will since I was about 14 years old. So uh, I remember going up to Detroit years ago with the original Powerhouse gym and, and all that. And uh, it's good to see that he's still in the mix and got the new uh, Powerhouse, uh, Powerhouse FX gyms. Now, that's different than the regular Powerhouse gyms. Right. Tell everybody what the difference is. Yeah, there's a big difference. And, you know, with uh, it's not just Powerhouse says weight training, hardcore. And FX, it's just a variety of different exercises. It's very, you know, uh, calisthenics, all type of um, strength training, resistance training. There's some weight training, but it's mostly... So it's more the functional training with the ropes functional. and the balls and the bands and yeah. the, everything else. The tires yeah, and the, tires. the bands and the jumping and the... So you get into that stuff yourself these days? Or you, I mean, obviously, you're still in great shape, so yeah. you're still hitting the weights. Do you incorporate any of that in your routines? Or, you know, what's the training like these days? Yeah, I still... Well, of course, I still do my weight training, but I really... I love... Uh, I come from that background, actually, where you do a lot of, like, calisthenics, chin-ups, push-ups, and all of that. And then having my boot camp at L.A. Air Force Base, most of those, um, the military, that's what they do. So I think it's, it's exciting and it's different. And, you know, I still use my weight training, my foundation, my squats and my lunges. Got to keep that tush <laughs> in so, place. Yes, keep it yeah. all in place. Keep it all uh, in place. Well, Linda, we got uh, the 50th anniversary of the Olympias coming up this year, so Joe Weider's 50th being celebrated in Las Vegas, Nevada. you got to be looking forward to that. Yes, definitely looking forward to that. Um, you know, I feel so great to be a part of, you know, like the 80s and the 90s. Yeah, yeah, right. and the, I mean, I've been around a long time, <laughs> so, and that's, yeah, it's funny, but... Yeah, I'm really looking forward to it because well, this is special. Uh, in your neck of the woods, the women's bodybuilding still hanging on. I know it was a little in doubt there for a little bit, but still seems to be uh, has some life. Uh, but Iris Kyle, I just ran into at the last show uh, about a week or two ago, okay. and she's gunning still full, man. She she shows no signs of slowing down, and yeah. and she's got what nine now, I think. Yeah, she has nine, which has to me amazing. I don't, you know, I don't know what batteries she's working with it was we gotta know. find some of that i know we definitely do because i mean she's got the nine that she's won but she's been on the scene for a long time yeah. you know so so that is that's impressive you have to like say well for anybody man or woman i mean let, let's face it i mean nine is more than than any olympian obviously yeah. uh you know men included so i mean you got to yeah. give credit where credit's due but yeah. Um, and she's still competitive. She's still in there. I mean, yeah. she's so. I mean, I asked her outright. I'm like, you know, you thinking about hanging them up anytime? She says, no, not really. I mean, I'm just, I just do what I do. It's amazing to me. I mean, you know, I mean, for me, I know. Well, it's 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 tough sometimes. Nine, it can get boring. So I, I like to see a new champion. I truly, you know. Well, you were right there at obviously at eight. I mean, obviously tying the great Lee Haney, right. of course, and and eventually Ronnie Coleman, uh, as he would equal that number also, but. When did you know when it was time? Like, like, what was the bell that went off that says, you know what, I think now's a good time to say thank you, good night? Yeah. Yeah, well, you know it's time because you start to really compromise uh, your training and, and you start to listen to much of what's going on in your head and, with, and 
what's going on in the heads of others. So um, when you lose that, what these af amateurs have, because amateurs, you know, they, they really train hard, they, they diet their butts off, and then you see pros, then suddenly it's like the guys want to be bigger and they sacrifice being in great shape yeah. for being bigger and they get it confused. So to me, if it's not broke, don't fix it. And when you start to get confused and you start to not enjoy weight training and you're not willing to do all you have to do, then it's time to, to like hang up the dumbbells. Yeah, better to walk away on top or give it to one more shot? Yeah, yeah, I think it's better to, it's better to walk away on top. Now, if you try and you, you come back and you, then you better know to like <laughs> yeah, walk right, away. Right. Some don't, and it's <laughs> just like I'm like going, oh man, you know, yeah. Especially when you see them at their best, sure. you know they're a great athlete, and then you see them continuing to go in the show, and you're not getting better. Come on, right. dude, like <laughs> right. it's time to stop. No, know when to say when. <laughs> so, when, to say when. Well, you ain't showing any uh, signs of stopping anytime soon, yeah. so you still got it going on. That's yeah. for sure. Well, Thank so you, always great to see you, Linda, of course. We're going to be enjoying the show. We'll catch up with you after the uh, prejudging, perhaps. Yes. So maybe we'll get a little uh, insight from the great Linda on the uh, women's uh, portion of the competition. Absolutely. I'll be there. All right. You got it. For Linda Murray, this is Bob Chick wrapping things up here in Chicago. <laughs>